Jake is fucking lost, man. Even through all this we see. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom in peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Now, this is inspired, of course, to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. But a guy, I just got my window open and just sat here in my house. And I over, I overhear my government name being used in it. So I'm like, what? So I sort of tuned my ear into the conversation, like, what's going on here? Anyway, it wasn't about me. Actually, it wasn't about me. It was about a guy clearly with the same name as me. And it was, yeah, a bunch of jakes, you know, and about oh, this guy with my name has beef with this guy. And now he wants to this, this, and this, and that. And I was like, for f- yeah, Jake is just fucking lost, man. With everything going on in the world. With I, I don't want to start naming shit because YouTube algorithm starts getting a bit, you know, fiery. But fucking hell, man. That's the that's the 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 trending topic within Jake. With everything that's fucking going on, the top thing that he gets so enthused about. And you know, he was very. It wasn't just like a casual conversation. He was getting all into it, man. He was getting excited about it. That's that's the apex of Jake's existence right now, man. That's the apex of Jake's existence. And I was just watching um, some history of the Benjamites you know, that were in the UK and their sort of internal you know, happenings because it's just interesting to see the mentality of Jake historically you know, and how that sort of fig- figures into today. And as soon as I finished watching that short video, yeah. And, I, and then I watched a, a video in the ministry or two. But the whole thing is, any dealing with Jake outside this truth that I've had today is purely some grimy shit, man. Some grimy shit. And that's all Jake is on, man. For the most part. There's some Jakes that are, that are trying to do books or just live a plain life. But all you Jakes are fucking done. Right, so this is Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And linking it in the video I watched most recently on the ministry was about this um, the scoffers and mockers from the elder Manat Zakhba. His video on this, this guy saying, Oh, on GMS on this, you know, rap the news, this was the greatest teacher ever, or some bullshit. It is what it is, man. Whenever, whatever happens is the Lord's will, or the Lord's decree, to put it like that. When it talks about doing the Lord's will, in the scriptures, let's find it. So this is John 7 and 17, it says, so 16, Yahweh answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. So who sent him? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Verse 17, If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, right, you see that's singular, of the doctrine, whether it be of the Most High, whether I speak of myself. Right, so any man doing his will, when we, when we see that phrase being used, it's referring to doing the laws, you know, des- things desirous in the Heavenly Father's sight. Of course, to the best of our ability, because we're stuck in this wicked flesh. There's a difference between accepting, right, we're in this wicked flesh, let's try and overpower it with the Spirit, compared to uh, not knowing anything beyond the flesh. Right, and being so involved in, and so enthused by, oh, this Jake, you know, stabbed, shot, fought, etc., this Jake. That's it. We're not meant to rejoice in that. Ultimately, it's the Lord's judgment. So you give you give praise where it's due. But the the whole the be all and end all of our existence isn't to to be grimy Jacobites, man. Right, and to go to go back to the whole scoffers and mockers, man. This you had uh, what do you call them now? Deborah and Watchman, 
Yeah, and I say Deborah first because she's the fucking the head of that <laughs> channel, as it seems, man. If you were to, if you were to pause and break down and we'll see who talks more, it's probably her, which is off. But anyway, they were saying, oh yeah, you're not meant to. Yeah, you can't, you can't ever do this. You know, you're still this and this and that. Well, this this man spoke injurious words. In fact, let's look at the a definition where we'll find that. This man spoke heavily injurious words. And you want to talk about... Um... See, Jake doesn't know how to d discriminate righteously or discern. He thinks because it says, well, there's one scripture about love. You think that that means that you accept everyone against your soul. So blasphemia. It says slander, detraction, speech injurious to another's good name. And that's all that man did. Yeah, his whole quote unquote teachings were going against what we teach specifically. And, and not even just one West, anyone that says there is a Messiah. Right, so Watchman Yahoo, uh, Deborah. But that goes into your doctrine. He was slander, slanderous, injurious, not just your doctrine, but against the Messiah. Which really the Messiah is the doctrine because he is the word. But it's not just like. Uh, They'll play that off as, oh, it's just, you know, we're all Israel, ultimately. But even on that, even in, within that doctrine, there's many people that say, yeah, we're all Israel, but you can't go against Hamashiach. Or the, you know, everyone outside of saying a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump, which a lot of Israelites don't apply, everyone has their, what they tolerate, and not many people will tolerate that. But you know, we're meant to tolerate that, tolerate all this shit, Everything that everyone says against it, and then go, oh no, you know, he was a great man, and basically lie. You know, this that that man that passed or was judged was blasphemous. You know, he went against the fame, the reputation, said really disrespectful, injurious things. Now, ultimately, if there is any false god, you're not going off to mock it. Let's see if I can find this. There we are. First Kings 18. But the point is, this is a true God. You know, Yahweh Shai is a true God. He is our head. So to make out like if someone does wrong, you know, blasphemes, goes against the name, like we're meant to be cool and just, <laughs> just love it and love that whole idea. That's off, man. But so Jake is through in that way. And in the world, Jake is through. Even the Jake that knows that Israelites are through. So, 1 Kings, I don't know what the fuck's going on outside, excuse that. 1 Kings 18 and 27, And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them, and said, Cry aloud, for he is for he is a god, either he is talking, or he is pursuing, or he is in a journey, or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awaked. And get you read through the context of that, it's going into an idol that's being mocked. So you're not going off if you do that, so if we... If you try to say, oh, but you're hypocrites, you know, because you mocked this idol. Cool, but Yahweh isn't an idol. Right, Yahweh is a true God. Let me say, Yahweh isn't a false God. Okay. But Jake, on every level... <laughs> done. Absolutely done. Expired. But this is what we're waiting for, man. Isaiah 16, 21. Thy people also should be all righteous... So that goes from the those that are anti Messiah to the grimy Jakes that even know they've never even heard of the idea of being an Israelite and considered it. Or rather they've heard but never considered it. Because yeah, I'll say when we used to teach before really putting up the ministry videos, that that is a place where a lot of the grimy Jakes not every single you know, person there is a grimy Jake. But certain grimy jakes passed through, I definitely heard it, you know, threatened, oh, yeah, we're going to stab you for this, didn't do shit. Yeah, we're going to do this, we want to fight you for this, still didn't do shit. We're not saying, oh, yeah, because we're so great. It's ultimately the spirit, man. You know, no one can do anything unless the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, lets you. But from the, the, the ones that are just scoffers and mockers, they don't mean anything carnally. To them that are carnally pursuing and actively would like to see 
you know, some of the brothers from the ministry hurt, you're all going to be righteous in the kingdom. You know, so that, that at that point, then we're yeah, true, true brothers. But a lot, of, a lot of, not all Israel is Israel. I'll just say it like that. Isaiah 16, 21. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of thy planting, of my planting, Salachia. The work of my hands that I may be glorified. So it's all going into glorifying the Heavenly Father. And why did the Heavenly Father send His Son? To glorify His name. Yeah. So I was a bit all over the place, but just some thoughts. Yeah, I pray it was edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha, Kudash. Shalom.